Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the sterling versus US dollar. Looking at this uh, currency pairs first from the daily chart, we had a, a break to the upside last week. That break to the upside saw the price move above this uh, top side trend line uh, near this uh, swing area right through here. The swing area defined by a number of different uh, lows going back to this time right here before breaking to the downside and uh, continuing that move all the way down to the low of 110.35. 1.103520 then we've seen this rotation back to the upside getting above this top side trend line in the swing area was a bullish uh, signal but uh, we did move up to the low of this other swing area this sw other swing area again goes back well goes back to november december of uh, 2021 that is folks and then we had these uh, different highs through here before uh, the market uh, rotated to the downside and now returned back to it. The high price last week reached 131.42, just short of this 131.46 low of this swing area. And the uh, market uh, has uh, modestly uh, corrected back to the downside. Uh, to switching gears and uh, going to the hourly chart, what does that look like on our chart? We saw a modest uh, decline on Friday, and we're seeing a modest decline in trading here today. Uh, that has allowed the 100-hour moving average to start to catch up with the price. Uh, we also have this low right here, which comes in around the 131.42. The 100-hour moving average comes in at 135.7 and moving higher. So we are getting closer to that test of that key 100-hour moving average. If the price is able to get below this 100-hour moving average in this low right here and stay below that level, then we could see further downside probing with this uh, uh, broken trend line right here as a uh, potential uh, target uh, on the downside for this uh, currency pair. Give you an idea where that comes in. It comes in around the 129. 89 level uh, maybe a little bit higher than that but um uh, the uh, 130 level would sound like a nice uh, little target on the downside if we were to break below the 130 36 level on the top side if we asked uh, uh you know maybe this area right here around the 130 82 level would be a target uh, a level to get back uh get back above if we we're able to get above above that level then we could see a rotation back toward the 46 level on the daily chart but uh, for now the uh, sellers are trying to take control but Coming into that 100-hour moving average on the downside is going to be key for this currency pair. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.